This video is to show you how to embed Microsoft OneDrive documents into Blackboard. One of the features we enjoy with Google Drive documents is the ability to be able to grab an embed code, head into Blackboard, and paste that embed code. So that way in Blackboard, you have an embedded document. So people don't need to click on a link to see the document. They're able to see a version of the live document right in the Blackboard course. And this video is to show you how to do the same thing with a Microsoft OneDrive hosted document. I want to quickly show how to post simple links to OneDrive documents that your students can click on to download. To facilitate this, we will click on the plus add content button, which is the last item in the rich content editor in Blackboard when you're doing something like creating an item. So clicking here, we'll see one of the options is insert from cloud service. We'll pick here and choose the option for OneDrive. If it's your first time doing this, you'll need to authenticate with OneDrive to select files. So we'll hit connect to OneDrive. This will take us to another browser tab asking us to sign in with our at ashland.edu account and giving permissions to Blackboard. We'll accept this permission request. And now we can see all of the content that's inside of our OneDrive document. So here I am just going to pick a spreadsheet, choose select one, and then import. So this option, if we are to hit submit and check it out, when we click this link, it'll download a copy of the document. So that's a good option to know how to use in order to be able to post links to download documents that you have stored in Microsoft OneDrive. To embed a document, we go to office.com, choose the multiple app log launcher and head to OneDrive. From OneDrive, double click into a document to view the document. In the document, go to file, then choose the option for share and choose embed. From here, you get this embed code. We can choose also the dimensions of this. So you can experiment this with this once it's posted inside of Blackboard, but how wide and how tall do you want the document to be when it's visible on the Blackboard page? But we'll click into the embed, po embed code, copy it. We're just hit copy and close. Then back to Blackboard, click on the greater than, less than source code symbol, paste the embed code, click save. Now you can see there's an embedded version of the document. When you hit submit, you'll preview it. For our purposes, this looks maybe a little bit small, but visitors to Blackboard are able to choose the full screen option, which then takes them to the version of the document as it exists in OneDrive. So to get an embeddable document that looks a little bit better, there's two options. One, I can go back to the document, go to file, go to share, embed, and change the values here. But the other thing I'm able to do is if I hit on the source code button again, back inside of Blackboard, here are the values for width and height. So I am able to change these. We'll make it uh, 600. 900 and 600. Save. And already we can see that that is looking a lot better. Now viewing this on the page, if I were to post a syllabus or something like that, that's a pretty good height and width that somebody's able to read that. An important final note, just as is the case in Google Drive, you're going to want to make sure that the, draw, the document that you are embedding from Microsoft's OneDrive is shared publicly. So viewing the document, going up to the top right, clicking on the share button, choosing the share option, we want to make sure that the link is set so that anyone is able to view the document. This ensures that when it is embedded, using the embed option, everyone will be able to see the document. There you have it, how to post 
links to be able to download documents from Microsoft OneDrive, as well as how to embed Microsoft OneDrive documents inside of Blackboard.